Uh, well, this for me has been the best experience of my life. You know, it, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It has not only changed me musically, it has changed me as a person. You know, it has changed my outlook towards life, uh, towards everything. Even when I'm driving on the busy streets of Delhi and get stuck in a red light, I, I get out of situations thinking of what the ensemble would do or how would we react if we were faced with this situation. So they have become part and parcel of my life. They have shaped the future of my life and influenced every single thing that I do or stand for today. Absolutely. You know, part of Indian music, it's, it's nothing to do with me as an individual. I think the way we are taught, also we are forced to compose in a way which is very good in a way you are helped to grow up as a complete musician for example your teacher would teach you one thing and the next day he expects you to you know present before him or play before him things which are similar so if he would teach me a phrase then next day I would come up with three or four phrases which are similar so you move step by step and when I first started playing with them these are instruments that I had never interacted before so when I hear these Beautiful, you know, violin players, Nick, Colin, Mark, and, you know, Nick, Colin, Johnny. It would always touch my heart and Yo-Yo's playing. You know, I didn't even know who Yo-Yo was. That's how far I was from this world of music. But the moment they played, it touched my heart. And that's, I think, what ultimately counts. So when I kept on hearing them, something in me, you know, just prodded me on that I have to do something where I can bring my music and their music together and produce something which is really new and different from what I have been doing. These drums are called the tabla. One is made of wood, the other used to be clay, but with traveling I think my forefathers <laughs> realized that this copper would be a better substance and made of goat skin. The black paste is uh, made of many ingredients like saw, you know, sorry, uh, wood, um, paste of rice, iron, glass and stuff glued together. That decides the pitch of the drums. This is called the dahina. Dahina means the right. This is called the baya, which is the left. And when you combine this, you play the tabla. I started when I was eight. And uh, I, I learned in a very traditional way, which is called the Guru Shishya Parampara. I didn't go to a school of music. It was a very one-to-one -one process of learning where I went and lived with my teacher and spent about 11 years with him till in 91 I he allowed me in a way to that yeah this is time now for you to move on and do something for your own so 91 I moved to Delhi and decided that I would try my luck for a year if it works fine otherwise I would have given it up the credit goes to my father you know I would as a kid lay play on anything that I could lay my hands on, bucket, books, table. I used to get in trouble in school also because as my teacher would be teaching, I would be tapping my feet. So twice I, I was asked to go out of the class for that. But my father noticed that and I was lucky enough that he took me to a tabla teacher because he felt that I have something to do with rhythm. So he took me to a local tabla teacher from whom I learned for about a year. Then he took me to the master. This piece that I'm going to play for you is called the angustana. Angustana means fingers. So the part of the palm is not used. So it's a very special piece. Mm -hmm. 